Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel. It's um, been a while since I've talked about my Super Note and I just hit the one year uh, anniversary with it. So I thought I'd make a quick one year overview, talk about some of the good, some of the not so much bad, but things that I could would hope they would improve maybe in the next um, iteration of this and the kind of version two. Um, and coincidentally, a new update came out for it as well, so I'll kind of talk a little bit about that update as well. But one year in, um, it's been a great device. Um, like I've said in my previous videos, it's kind of re reduced a lot of the paper clutter from my desk. It kind of helps me find information better. You know, I was notorious for always jotting down notes, whether it's for work or personal, and then, you know, a month later, can never find it. Um, so it's been a huge help to kind of stay organized. Um, with this so everything's been working as great as it should their updates i mean this product is like become night and day since when i first got it they've pushed a lot of good updates to it heavily kind of made this um, a better device with each update you know from increasing the speed to making it lefty friendly um, now they've added hand recognition so it's, it's just been an awesome product um, Really, the only con I can think of with this, and again, not really a con, but something I wish maybe they'll change in the next version of it, is to make it thinner. Just because when you're writing on it, you know, that that kind of that difference kind of makes it hard to kind of, you know, you know, make it a very paper-like experience when you have this kind of ridge here. Um, so it'd be nicer if they could thin this out, or somehow maybe I don't know maybe find a way to be able to like raise this cover higher that way it's kind of a smooth transition between this and um, the device so small nitpicking but that's something I can think of that would make this even more more amazing was just to kind of thin it out to allow for a better writing experience and of course I mean maybe make some of the bezel bezel smaller would be a nice touch as well so when you're in it's still amazing. I still have it, which is a pretty good thing for me because I don't really keep electronic devices for that long. I usually always will replace for something different. Um, I, in fact, I've stopped looking. You know, when I was first researching this device, I looked at everything that was available, the Remarkable um, uh, book, whatever it's called. I mean, I mean, at this point, I'm actually become so I've kind of become pretty detached from the e-ink um, industry just because. I've been so happy with it. I haven't even looked or explored what's out there. So maybe there's something better out there yet, but I don't know. But if it's not broken, I'm not going to fix it. So this has worked amazing. Um, when you're in, very happy with it. Bad, bad life has been amazing. I mean, really, I can't think of any faults. So still give it a recommendation. The other part I want to talk about in this video um, were the pens. So uh, one of the questions I've been asked um, in my previous videos is about, you know, the pen that I use, you know, and this is a Samsung Tab S7 pen. So I've actually tried a variety of pens here. So I'll go ahead and put them all out here. Some I don't have anymore, but I've tested a, a good number of them. Um, and they all work pretty much the same. So basically what we have here is this is a Note uh, Note 5 pen right here. This is a Note 4 pen right here. Um, actually, hang on, hopefully this doesn't mess up <coughs> the video here, but this is an S22 pen. And then we have Tab S3 pen, Tab S7, Tab S8. Um, I think these are pretty much identical, but I got them with different devices, so we'll refer them and they're kind of what they work like. And really, they all work. Um, you know, they all kind of work the same way. You know, they write and they have the clicking button here if you want to erase. So you have that. So this is, this is probably the oldest. This is a Note 4 pen. And... What I've noticed though with the older pens, they kind of don't work as well. They're a little glitchy. I don't know if it's just the technology there is different, but 
if we look at like the note four pen and if i try to write hello world how are you it writes fine but then if, you, if i see if i quickly delete it at well, that time it works sometimes it kind of like will glitch out a little bit same with the s3 pen but of course not works i don't know maybe the up recent update fixed it but they all work the same so every pen i've tried from samsung has worked um, I've tried the Note 20 pen, which I don't have anymore. That worked as well. Uh, <coughs> so they all work just fine. The only pen that I've tried that has not worked is the uh, Surface, Microsoft Surface pen. I don't have it. I can't find it. But I bought it to test with this, and it did not work. Um, so otherwise, they all work. And like I said, these small phone pens, are, they're, they're a little tough to use. They're just too small. So I would not recommend those at all. Um, this one's not bad either, but like I said, it kind of will glitch a little bit here and there. But so far, it's working fine, it seems. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see I didn't connect my F. So I don't know, maybe the recent update fixed something, but I had some kind of glitching issues with it. And then the S8 pen, is pretty much the same thing as the S7 pen. So they work the same way. Um, I almost think that the pens are identical, to be honest. Uh, the only thing that I changed um, with my S7 pen is the tip. I actually put in, I used the tip from the S3 because the older pens came with a really kind of harder plastic tip. And some of the new pens now come with like a softer kind of rubbery feel which for the actual samsung device that's perfect because the samsung device is very glossy so like a rubber soft tip kind of adds that needed friction but for this one since this kind of has that kind of like a matte cover that rubber kind of i think slows down too much and there it's kind of too quiet i feel like so i found the best thing is to use like a hard plastic tip you know, similar to the stock. You know, stock uses like a hard ceramic tip. So the the plastic tip kind of gives you kind of the tactic, tac, tactical sound, like when you connect with it. So you can kind of feel it when the pen connects. So I just found that to be my favorite. So, so that's kind of where I am with pens. This is really my predominant pen. Sometimes I'll use this one, but, you know, even though this has by far the nicest tip and nicest you know writing it's just very precise i just don't like the ergonomics of the pen it's i think too thick a little too short and a little too heavy where this one i think is just right perfect thickness long super light this one it just feels more comfortable in the hand and then having that button is just a huge plus to quickly erase things so that's a quick little update on the pens because all right, the other um, update I want to kind of quickly go through is the hand recognition. Uh, it actually works really well, uh, and I have sloppy handwriting. But they added something else here now that you have a stylus setting uh, for the Lamy button where you can actually decide if, um, you know, you want to use a side button for your eraser or um, the lasso. So I've kind of been testing to see how this would work. And what I discovered is that, so if we go into, back in the document, if I open up a document with hand recognition turned on, because you have to do this before, so let me just show you. So when you create a new document, you decide right here um, if you want it to be set up for standard or real-time recognition. Um, it does increase the power consumption on it. So, <laughs> But I already have one created here, so let me just kind of go through that one. So go to recent files. So my test one is with it on, and it works really well. Um, so let's see here. Hello world, how are you today? So that's pretty. I think it's pretty good, and because I write like chicken crap, so surprised that it actually gets it but 
um, the eraser function doesn't see, doesn't work like it does in the non. So I can't do the typical hold the button and erase. It doesn't work. But two two finger gesture does. But you don't circle. You just swipe now. Oh, same. So now you just kind of it's like an eraser now. So that's that's one thing I've observed different is that now you kind of just erase in line. I kind of like the circling part better, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, it no longer works um, with a Samsung pen. It sounds like maybe the Lamy pen would work, but I don't have one to test. But writing, like I said, is really impressive how well it recognizes. Let's see, hope everyone had a good holiday. I love my super no. All right, let's try that. Look at you can see that's pretty pretty bad. Oh, I didn't get it. I messed up this one. I hope everyone had a good holiday. I love my super note. So a little uh messed up on this one, but you can see I write like crap. So if I try to kind of really slow down, hope Everyone had a good holiday. Oh, crap, I messed up. Let's see if it fixes it. Holiday. I love my super no. So let me just erase this. All right, let's see how well it does in that one. Yeah, so I got it. So, like I said, I think it's a, I think it's great because um, I write super sloppy. So the fact it can recognize it is amazing to me. I don't like this eraser function though, to be honest. I like, I'd much rather like the circling. But now, if we go back to a non um, hand recognition version, it does work fine here. So here. In this version I can do the usual or hold two fingers oh. there we go that's weird that now the two fingers won't work with this one I just noticed that so two fingers oh there we go okay so those still work so that's the only catch that I don't quite like with the handwriting um, is the eraser function isn't quite as good as it is any other one but but yeah small little complaint so I haven't actually started using the handwriting recognition yet to be honest um, <clears throat> not sure if I have a purpose for it yet so just because I am using this just for myself um, I could see in like an application where you're sharing your notes or you have to like you know yeah share or you know email it yourself and print it out or something like that I could see that being useful <coughs> for my case though I haven't quite found a way to implement it just yet, so I don't have a whole lot of use experience with it. I just kind of messed around with this to see how well it works, and it works really well. So yeah, that's it for the video. Just wanted to kind of <clears throat> do a kind of one-year check-in. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I know a few people asked about my other modification where I try to insert this pen into like a regular pen, and I can never get it work. I can never get a spring that would work right, so I just put it back into the stock setting and like I said I 90% of how I'm using this one and uh, the only time I kind of reach for this one I feel like I can write a little bit more um, a little neater with this one so if I'm taking like notes where I really gotta make sure I kind of it's legible then maybe I'll use this one but I feel like I can write faster with this one and it's just easier so so yeah, that's it guys. Um, hope everyone had a good holiday and hopefully a better 23. Um.